Hello, I'm Shahram Taj, Chair and Professor of the Department of Data Science and Business Analytics. This department is offering two undergraduate degree programs, a Bachelor of Science in Data Science and a Bachelor of Science in Business Analytics. The first program in Business Analytics enables organizations to turn complex challenges into substantial opportunities by transforming data into information and information into insights for making better decisions and proving results. The Business Analytics curriculum provides training in the skills needed to solve complex problems that occur in the management of logistics and supply chain, marketing, finance, and innovation and technology. The undergraduate program in Business Analytics offers an education that can be found only at Florida Poly. Data analytics expertise with a business focus by offering a cutting-edge program specially designed to prepare students for top jobs in today's technology and data-intensive business world. Unlike undergraduate program in business or management at other universities, our business analytics curriculum has an extensive analytical and quantitative focus. The curriculum provides extensive instruction in this discipline of optimization, mathematical modeling, probabilistics and statistical analysis, simulation, computer programming, database, data and text mining, and cloud computing. The curriculum also includes classes in the subject area you would expect to find in a more traditional business program, such as economics, accounting, finance, operations, supply chain, entrepreneurship, business law, negotiation, project management, and strategy. In addition to taking business analytics core curriculum subjects, students also complete a concentration in one of the four areas, logistics and supply chain management, intelligent mobility, quantitative economics, econometrics, or health informatics. The second program, Data science is an interdisciplinary field that uses scientific method, processes, algorithms, and a system to extract knowledge and insight from data in various forms, both structured and unstructured. Data scientists develop mathematical models, computational methods, and tools for exploring and analyzing and making predictions from data. The primary goal for data science major is to train a generation of students who are equally skilled in predictive modeling, data analysis, and computational techniques. To this end, in addition to learning about data science models and methods, students will acquire expertise in a particular subject domain. The rigorous curriculum in data science program focuses on the fundamental of applied mathematics, computer science, probability, statistics, optimization, and machine learning while incorporating real-world examples. In addition to taking data science core curriculum subjects, students also complete its concentration in one of, the, one of the five areas, big data analytics, internet of things, health informatics, intelligent mobility, quantitative economics, econometrics. How about jobs? The demand for our graduate and the opportunity for them to play key roles in 21st century industry and innovation are outstanding. The occupation of data scientists has been ranked the best job in America for three years in a row. The role of data scientists has been described as the sexiest job of the 21st century. There is a rapid growth and demand for professionals in data science and business analytics. McKinsey and company has estimated the need for one and a half, one and a half million business analytics professionals, and there is a severe shortage of professionals with the needed business analytics skills. Thank you. Hey.
My name is Aaron Kraslow. I'm a student here at Florida Polytechnic University in our Science and Technology Management program with a concentration in logistics and supply chain, which is the crucial part of our program. When I graduated high school, I wanted a place that had a more real world and pragmatic approach to higher education, and Poly offered me just that. And one of the primary ways that they accomplish this is through project-based learning. Throughout most, if not all of your classes, you're going to be given projects that you span the entire semester, you're gonna be given a handful of them that force you to learn how to work with other people, a wide array of people, and develop necessary communication skills to work in a modern work environment. Um, in addition, I've also had the opportunity to become the president of our APEX chapter, which is a professional organization within supply chain and logistics, and it has provided myself and a bunch of other students with an incredible networking opportunity. And one of the internships I've managed to find because of Florida Polytechnic University is the one I'm working right now, where I am in the procurement department for a place called um, Coleman Aerospace, and they are a defense contractor. And I'm not just running errands, I am working, um, doing real work, working with a wide array of people and having to make sure that our operation can continue running as smoothly as possible, making sure the right thing is at the right place, at the right time, and at the right cost. And without the skills I've developed here at Florida Polytechnic University, I would have never had an opportunity like that. Hello, this is Mohammad Rashid. I'm the professor and chair of electrical and computer engineering. I'm glad that you have decided to be an engineer. Engineers make things happen. The engineering is basically the application of math and science, but this is the engineers who make things happen and change the world, although, although this scientists also say they're the innovators, but the engineers are the one make things happen, change the future generation, future life, and staying the tech, take the technology for the next level. I'm glad you have decided to be an engineer and also specifically electrical engineering. Electrical engineering has uh, has you know uh, used you know they they find the jobs in wherever they are or uh, anything related to electricity. Electrical engineers are there, but electrical engineers mix a lot of mathematics, science, and, and other things you need there. But our curriculum is designed in such a way you'll be learning from the math and science in humanities and social science, so there is a broad-based degree, and so that you are well prepared as a human or well-developed human being. And then our curriculum is rigorous, and during these four years, you'll be doing learning about theory, analysis, synthesis, and problem solving, and a lot of projects you'll be doing during this this uh, this this over the years. You'll also be working, expected to work on mini project and a big project. We expect you to do. Uh, there's a rigorous problem. There are rigorous programs. There are rigorous assignments will be there. Some of the one you may have to work one course. You may have to four or five. Or six hours, and uh, it depends on this project. But we want you to be challenge you to go beyond this classroom, beyond the classroom. We want to challenge you, and we expect you to challenge yourself to be the form. And that is the rigorous of the program. I would not have to sell this rigorous program. You will be working there. One of the things you'll be doing there, not a mini project, but also a major design experience based on the earlier courses. There you will be doing theoretical paperwork and a project, a flow chart and Gantt chart and many things you'll be doing there. It's like a, you know, identifying the parts you need, but eventually the second part will be building and testing a product design. Can you make things happen? You may have learned many things over the uh, over these you know years, but the question is, what can you do? That will be capstone design project. That is the rigorous project. I would know. I have to say that you have to work really hard. That is engineering because engineers normally electrical engineers pay it pretty much well. They do well in their life, and we will be able to help you. But you, we will be able to help you. But you need to seek help. We are always be there. We will always be there. Our priority as a department is the students first. We ask you, please take help that. We want to see you be successful and be prepared for the next generation of an engineer to be successful and we could be proud of you. Challenge yourself beyond the limit. And that's it is. If you have any questions, if any way we can help, come to my office. It will be IST2097. We want to be successful. Thank you. Thank you for choosing electrical engineering. My name is Eric Chan, and I'm an electrical engineering major at Florida Poly. Uh, I'm a senior, so I managed to see a lot of the culture being built 
and partake in that because the school is such a small, uh, small community. And one of the things that I built was the robotics club. And we just recently went to the world championships last year for VEX Robotics. Um, was, the, the school is a really small community, so if you were to like go to class every day, the professors take note of that and they, they see if, you, um, if you're putting in the work and you're really trying hard. Because, and putting in the work is like a life skill that you really want to start cultivating now because it, it's, it's so invaluable. 50% uh, 50 of the time of success is just showing up at the right time. And when you show up all the time, you're more likely to get that. Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Valero, Chair of the Mechanical Engineering Department, and welcome to Florida Poly. So, if you selected Mechanical Engineering, you probably have an interest in building things, tinkering with things, uh, fixing things, uh, maybe taking apart things. Hopefully you've got them back together again. We'd like to take that interest and that practice and couple it with theory. Where's that theory coming from? Your advanced mathematics, calculus, differential equations, physics, and chemistry, and bring those together with the foundational courses in mechanical engineering. So as you study for a bachelor's of science in mechanical engineering, there's really three components. There's our ME core, which focuses on courses in mechanics, thermal and fluid sciences, and mechanical engineering. Those courses uh, will help you take the FE exam, the Fundamentals of Engineering exam, which does lead to professional licensure and that exam in the future. We have our concentrations, which are composed of four courses. You could be interested in nanotechnology, advanced manufacturing and materials, operations research, or a collection of advanced topics that allow you to take a look at mechatronics, thermal sciences, things like that in mechanical engineering. Well, we don't want to leave out that practice, so we have our project thread. Um, starting sophomore year, you might work on projects that have to do with helping people with varying abilities. Coupled with that, um, we look at SolidWorks, LabVIEW. In our junior year, we look at uh, classic me mechanical engineering problems. And in senior year, we work with industry to uh, solve those type of problems and apply that theory uh, and other professional skills, teamwork, leadership, your favorites, writing reports, oral presentations to, to really send you out to the workforce with some skills that will help you hit the ground running. So will in mechanical engineering be difficult? Probably yes. Uh, as you look at it, leave those high school habits behind. What do I mean? No more studying 20 minutes before the test. Writing reports the night before. All right. What are some good tips for success here? Well, doing your homework, doing it neatly, reasonably neatly, well, mainly so that you create a solution set for yourself to study for the exams. What might happen here? That solution set not only helps you, but it helps you discuss those problems with your friends and it's a great way to discuss and ask questions of the faculty. So establish those good habits, work hard at those, um, think about one hour of class that comes with two hours of homework. That's two hours of cell, cell phone free homework and a bit of persistence. The key thing, no more procrastination. So with that, take advantage of everything that the university has to offer, explore extracurricular activities, check out the internships, and I'm sure you'll have a very successful career here at Poly. My name is James Mavo. I am a mechanical engineering student here at Florida Polytechnic. Uh, I'm in my senior year, and one of the best experiences I've had is getting my internship at the Florida Department of Transportation. I was an operations intern, and a class that I feel really helped me um, apply my skills there was operations research here at Florida Poly. Um, some advice I'd give future freshmen would be, you know, go talk to professors, get to know them, collaborate with your fellow students as much as you can, get to know them. Um, having friends would really help you in the future, just not with uh, coursework, but after graduation as well. Hi, my name is Yusuf Nashif. I'm an associate professor and chair of computer science. I'm also an associate professor of computer engineering. My area of expertise are cybersecurity, autonomic and high performance computing. 
Computer science students typically select this major to solve real-time problems by applying scientific problem-solving techniques to design, develop, and analyze software systems. A computer science student will take courses in mathematics and statistics, logic design, programming, database and data structures, algorithm design and analysis, software design implementation and analysis, operating systems, and computer networks. A student joining the computer science program is expected to have a good background in mathematics, ability to analyze and apply logic, interest in math, logic, and programming. Note that computer scientist is not a software developer. It is much beyond that. As a stu student joining the computer science program, you are expected to attend all your classes, bring your full attention to the class and the presented material. Be able to manage your time spend two hours of studying for every one hour of lecturing, read the textbook in addition to the lecture notes. Lecture notes are not sufficient by themselves to succeed in the class. Work in team and collaborate with other team members. To seek help, here are a few things. Communicate effectively with the instructor. If you face an issue or a problem regarding a certain course, then you should talk to your instructor. If you face an issue or a problem regarding a degree or, a, or a scheduling, etc., then you should talk to the Academic Success Center or stop by my office. I will help you with that. Instructors have office times. You should utilize them to help you with the concepts or the topics that you need help with. Do not be shy. The department offers tutoring for some of the courses. If you need that, then please check with the Academic Success Center. The state requires every student to take nine credit hours over the summer prior to finishing the degree. So plan to have some courses during the summer sessions. My advice to you is to plan to have most of these credit hours over the first summer. As a computer scientist, you will have a chance to do multiple interesting things, such as game development, hacking, penetration testing, app development, artificial intelligence, drones, and autonomic vehicles. This major helped the student in develop multiple skills, such as analytic skills, collaboration and teamwork, communication, creativity, critical thinking, design implementation and analysis of software systems, logical reasoning, persistent, problem solving by applying math and science. A computer scientist has a wide range of jobs that she or he can apply to, including application analyst, computer network architect, computer programmer, computer system analyst, data analyst, database administrator, games developer, network system administrator, project manager, security analyst, software application developer, software engineering, user experience designer, web designer and web developers. These are some of the jobs that you can apply to. Now, if you have any issue or a problem, then please stop by my office. I will be able to help you with that. Thank you. My name is Allison Hart, and I'm a computer science major here at Florida Poly, working in a concentration of cybersecurity. Everything that I've been able to do here at this school has honestly just been so incredible. The projects, the hands-on things that we get to use, the supercomputer, all of my classes that I have been working in have just prepared me with the exact things that I need for the real world. In one of the career fairs here on campus, I was able to meet the Badcock Corporation, and that's where I currently have my internship. I'm working in the IT networking department, and I've already applied so many concepts from Java, from systems administration, into this internship. And so, as I'm moving forward into my senior year here, I'm so looking forward to being able to meet more people, to learn more things that I know I will use out in the real world. And so I'm very, very much looking forward to the future. I'm glad that you have selected or decided to go for computer engineering or considering considering engineering. Computer engineering is a part of engineering that uh, the, the, your computer is a part of the computers. 
We are all modern society, modern life. We see computers every place. Who made those one? It's the computer engineers. The hardware of the computers is the engineer. And I'm glad that you have decided to be one of the leaders to change the next generation. One of the engineers, his name was Gordon Morse. He was Intel engineer. He predicted in 1970 that the number of transistors in a chip will be double in every 24 months, and that has been true. It started from you know, two transistors, like a tera or mega, or a, 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 of these transistors in the one. You can see how powerful things are happening in the computers and memory side, and the speed of the computing. Who are the people? Who are the computer engineers? I'm glad that you want to take us, the generation, future generation, the world on the next level after you know, becoming an engineer. That is your task. I'm glad you took the, decided to take the challenge. I'm sure you can do that. Coming back to our program, our program is, des is designed in such a way it integrates math, science, which are the fundamentals for all engineering, and their electronics, and electrical engineering, and also computer hardware part of the computer operating system, computer data structures, and, and the programming, and also blended with computer science, a lot of courses that you have the opportunity through our curriculum to specialize in uh, the, 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 the artificial intelligence embedded system, or that, you know, in IC devices, that we have the opportunity to do that. But also, our curriculum is very challenging. It's designed such a way you'll be doing a lot of a lot of mathematics. You'll be doing a lot of application, the homework, and a project design, analysis, synthesis. You will be overwhelmed. But I believe you are smart enough. You're intelligent enough. You can handle that because you decide to take the lead. You want to lead the world. You want to lead the generation. For the future depends on you. The job, the future job depends on you. What you create for the is the kindergartners in the kindergarten they are looking for you what project you have what innovations you're going to have but you can make it we will be help you we are here we will have a tutoring service for basic courses academic advice service will help you our department is always for you our priority is students first you are first come for us any help we are there but we cannot do the work for you will be everything we'll do for you. We expect that you will take a 15 credit hours per semester. For per lecture hour, we expect you'll spend two hours, approximately two hours, doing some homework, design, project, and any other things, lab basis, project basis one. You'll also do a capstone region project where at the end you will make things happen. We, you might have taken a lot of courses, got an A, the question is what can you do? That is the course we call the capstone design project, senior design projects we call. You will be going through that step to, make, to demonstrate to us you are innovators, you can make things happen. Our help is there, we'll help you there. One of the things that if you're looking for what is the future of the computer engineers, what type of jobs they do, what are the environment of the work environment, you can go to the U.S. Department of Labor website, and the U.S. Department of Labor website, you're going to find it out that what salaries they get, that all the information is going to help you to decide and see what you are. I think to thank you for all. I believe firmly that you can make it we want to see you, you succeed. When you leave this university, we want to see you become an innovator. You become a demonstrator, the leaders, engineering leaders. We could be proud of you. You help us, we help you. This is our goal, nothing else. Thank you, thank you again. Hi, I'm Paul Telewick. I'm a computer engineering major at Florida Poly. Um, I'm a senior this year. I'm gonna be graduating uh, later on this year. And this is my third college that I've been to. Florida Poly. Um, at other universities, I noticed that being that the class sizes were so large and the campuses had so many people, I there were more people to interact with, but less people to be friends with. Um, and that was a concept that was really strange to me when I came here. Um, being able to have less people around but have a tighter, close-knit community gave me more opportunity for people to get close with. Um, to have these these friend groups that I can count on and go to class with and collaborate with and work with on research projects and work in clubs and all these different 
opportunities that didn't seem like they were available to me at a larger school. Um, the class sizes alone were one of the draws here for me. Um, being able to go to my professor's office and he knows who I am. If there's any piece of advice I could give to an incoming Florida Poly student, it would be don't be afraid to come out of your shell. Um, don't be afraid to go to these club meetings. Don't be afraid to get involved on campus. Don't be afraid to just go out and introduce yourself. Getting to know people is probably one of the most valuable things I've learned in the past few years. And getting involved on campus has given me more opportunities than I can count.